Hey guys, welcome back to Chastain's class. I know it's a little different than the last time you saw it, but this is gonna be the class that we're working with for a little bit until we get back to what we do, which is learning at school. But today I'm gonna be explaining kind of the overview of how our class is gonna run. I'm gonna tell you how these videos are gonna go. Now these are gonna change and I'm gonna get bored and do some other stuff, but this is kind of like the basic part of what this class is gonna be digitally. So stick around. I want you guys to listen very closely because this is gonna explain some of the formatting stuff that I need you to know But by the time we start next week. So first things first, just like my classroom, we read and write every single day. We do authentic work. You're not gonna get any worksheets from Chastain no matter if it's digital or not, you understand? So the first things first is when you come into my classroom, we would do a mini lesson, correct? So when you come into this classroom, when you turn on the video for that week, you're gonna see a mini lesson just like before. You see this, I got a fancy TV. You know I got my fancy iPad rocking out, so we're gonna hit, look, boom, mini lesson. This is what it's gonna be. Same thing, oops, mini lesson. And we're gonna put the number. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna put the standard and we're gonna run through all of that. It's just gonna be the same thing. We might analyze something that day. We might analyze a poem. We might analyze a line. We might analyze whatever it is that we're analyzing that day. And we're gonna run through it just like we normally would. We read it first as a reader. We'd respond as a reader. We answer questions as a reader. And then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna look at it as a writer. What does the writer do to make us feel that way as a reader? What does a writer do to make us think this way? And then we're gonna take that and we're gonna apply it into our own writing for that week. So exactly like we would in the classroom, just split up a little different and we got this little divide between us, but that's all right, we're gonna deal with it. From there, um, depending on the week, depending on the day, we might have something where you respond to in the comments. There might be something where I ask you to do something on your own. There might be any of those things that happen. So much like how we do the mini lesson and I pass the work off to you, that's what I want you guys to do. As always though, you need to be reading independently. You need to be finding the standards that we talk about in your own reading and then using that in your own writing. As always, just because we're doing digital learning doesn't mean we change how we do it, what we should be doing is even getting more focused because we have to be to get to the level that we need to be in order to keep learning. My hours for you to conference with me in reading or writing or any type of questions from nine to 11 or one to three, I'm gonna have a Zoom open so you guys can join at any point. You're gonna go into a waiting room and then I'm gonna let you in and then we'll have a one-on-one -on -one conversation just like we would in the classroom. And I can pull up your writing because you're gonna be writing in Google Docs and I will be able to see what you're doing. We can talk about what you're doing. I could suggest things and we could just go through it as we normally would, have the same conversations as we normally would. There is really no change other than the fact that there's a camera in between us. Once again, that's gonna be a constant Zoom conference that's always open for you so you can just just go to it whenever you need me and I'm gonna have my computer up and then I will get to you in the order that you guys come in. So there really shouldn't be any problems getting a hold of me, talking to me, anything like that. We're gonna keep learning going as best we can. Now with that, every assignment, so at least once a week, you need to turn in your pieces of writing or respond to what I ask you to respond to in reading by Friday at midnight. I'm gonna say that again, Friday at midnight, which means you were not limited to the hours that I'm on Zoom. You're not limited to any of that stuff. So if you can only work at 10 p.m., if you can only work at 3 a.m., you know, whatever it is that you're doing at your house, busy playing Fortnite or Animal Crossing or something like that, you have the time so Friday at midnight but that's when it goes in okay so that's where like the final kind of check off for that week so get it done you guys are killing it in writing anyway and you're killing it in your reading so I just expect you to keep things moving keep things going the most important pieces I need you to remember are one pay attention to the mini lesson as they go you can play them over and over again they're videos so if you get lost if you get stuck or whatever watch them again. If you're still lost, conference with me through Zoom, ask me a question, send me an email, any of those things. I am always available for you guys. Make sure to respond in the comments. If I tell you to do that in the video, make sure to do the things that we wanna do because we're gonna be gearing up. This first week is kind of like practice. Okay, so take your time, get to know it, ask as many questions as possible, because after that, we're gonna be kicking it into high gear. We're gonna be doing what Chastain's class does best, which is be the best. And I can't wait, guys, I'm so excited. It's been too long, let's get it done. And maybe have a few dance parties along the way, I don't know. Bye.